All right. I think now you can hear me, correct? I think now you can hear me. <clears throat> Am I heard? All right. Uh, sorry for that error. Uh, anyway, I was saying, peace of Christ for all of you first. This channel is it's not about religion it's not about politics so please respect the rules as you see we have different title and we have a topic and the topic decide what we are talking about the other channels they speak about different thing but here we have you know as we say this is this channel have nothing to do with politics nothing to do with religion and we will talk about our belief but not other religions now our topic today is a chosen based on your request how to find Mr. Right or Miss Right, and you know, uh, most of us we suffer from making wrong decisions in life, in everything. You make wrong decision when you choose maybe your career. You make wrong decision when you move from a place to place, or maybe right decision. Life is full of mystery, and you do not know what's going to come. What what, what will happen next? And one of the biggest mystery a human being he suffer from is finding the right person to be with. Now here the problem is most of us are not mature enough to know the reason first why I want to be with someone. You see reasoning reasoning is the reason for success or for failure and I will explain that to you. When somebody is sick, he have a reason to buy drugs or to go to a doctor. So there is a reason in which it's forcing us to do things, not because we like it. And there is a reason in which is we do things because we like it. Some people, they find that marriage, something maybe they don't like, but they have to do. And that is the first step to be a failure marriage, which means, okay, well, I'm maybe I'm getting older, maybe, maybe uh, I'm afraid I will not find someone like this person, women or men. Uh, so I better take uh, the advantage or let us say the chance uh, because marriage is bringing too many things, which is good, like security stability uh, family children's so reasoning is the first problem we face why you want to get married first why you want to be married what for you want to have uh, just uh, you know a partner in the bed you married her because she is beautiful. Uh, you married her because she have, you know, sorry to say, like some features in her body you like. Why you marry this woman? Same for the women. Why you you want to marry this man? Is that because maybe he is um, handsome, good looking, tall, short, smart? What What is the reason? Reasoning is the first thing you need to ask yourself about. So when you you, uh, you you think about marrying somebody or to be with somebody, and here for me as a Christian, I'm talking about taking a partner for a lifetime, not just girlfriend and boyfriend. This is not even, not, not to worry about because, I mean, worry about what? I mean, it's just a girlfriend and boyfriend. When people, they are girlfriend and boyfriend, they agree about not to agree, which means we agree not to be truthful. We agree that we have short-term relationship we agree that we have no right over each other we agree we are going to share the bed which means we agree about nothing because you are free i'm afraid this is what girlfriend and boyfriend mean both are free there is no obligation he's just a boyfriend she is just a girlfriend and today i have a girlfriend tomorrow i can have a new one so when you live such a life uh, you choose this is not uh, this is not my topic you know because boyfriend girlfriend i mean there's nothing 
there's nothing real you see if a man he love a woman he marry her he don't sleep with her ask yourself why this man he wanna sleep with me but he don't want to marry me I mean I'm good in bed but I'm not good at the person out of the bed so we are talking about having a real life which is called marriage anything else is fake is false so uh, when you choose you need to ask yourself first sit and relax and think what is the reason for me I want to get married and why this person once I have a friend uh, she asked me she wanna like uh, there's a guy he want to marry her she like him actually and she said can you sit with him talk to him I trust your opinion she's a little confused so I sat with the guy and I have a normal conversation with him how are you etc you know and uh, and then I hope I said like uh, you know I hope that you guys you are sure that this is the right decision you know he said I mean why why you why we will be worry I said what do you mean he said uh, well isn't it, this is what divorce for mm hmm so I finished my conversation with him I'm just trying to make the conversation short uh, but this is the most important thing I learned from him isn't it this is what divorce for I told the lady I told her don't marry him this guy here thinking about divorcing you before marrying you she said what do you mean I said well I was asking him trying to understand his way of thinking about you know be careful because life uh, uh, you know uh, is not easy and uh, and uh, you don't want to end with uh, you know like um, drama and he says to me well isn't this is what divorce for you get rid of the person so I told her this guy he divorced you already before he married you so she she rejected this person she did not marry him and later we heard that this guy he married a, a, a lady different lady and he stayed with her only for six months six months only imagine so this is what divorce for so if you have a mentality of a person that if this is not successful we will go for a divorce that's mean you are a fool and you are seeking your own destruction Divorce bring disasters, especially if you have a children's. Both of you will have bankruptcy. Both of you, you will have a misery. Both of you, you are dividing and separating and humiliating your children. The man, he have to pay for child support and the women, she became taking care for them for a long time alone. And then you as a woman you want to go and find a new man to marry him and then the man he will say to himself huh she have a children's every second she spent with her children is going to be taken out of my time and maybe you say to yourself oh there is many men who they can be stepfather well a stepfather it can be good there is many of them they are wonderful but there is many of them they are awful and they might do very bad things to the children's so why we want to go there and reach that point where we are going to destroy ourselves, our family our finance our everything we build you know you see a person he was successful he have a house he have a wife he have a family have a children everything look perfect and suddenly divorce come and disaster you find yourself both of you homeless the bank take your property and you split whatever between you and then the women she suffer with the kids and the man he spent I mean it's a it is a total disaster we will talk about violent and different topic the one is asking about violent marriage we will talk about that but the important is uh, to find the right person first then you speak about violent in marriage and suddenly you know when we speak about violent in marriage violent is not only using your hand you see there's violence or violent of uh, humiliating insulting this is violent too it can be more harmful actually from using a hand and beating somebody 
so people they worry about violence, but why you are not worried about what what you would do to yourself because you might be beating yourself without knowing and that's why today we're trying to avoid that I like this picture in the screen where the girl and the and the guy both of them they have bicycles both of them going in the same direction and there's a lot of harmony and it's a very beautiful picture but when you put your hand to somebody and the other person grab your hand marriage is about grabbing the hand of someone you trust so the first thing I need to find in the person I want to be with is a trust Imagine you are a person who is not a trustworthy and you want to marry a woman She is not a trustworthy So what we have now we have both a scam uh, a scam corporation. It's a scam uh, Agreement <laughs> both are not a trustworthy Or you marry a man who is not a trustworthy, but you are a trustworthy that will be a disaster or the opposite so the first thing for me I want to think about is to find a person who is a trustworthy and how I know a trustworthy person examine him look at his life how much he was faithful for people around him his parents his family his friends his job if he cheat in any of those because a cheating is not only about a cheating with the a women you know like a, a, a sleeping around a cheater is a cheater wherever he go he cheat you know what I'm saying cheater he cheat wherever he go he cannot stop being a cheater so you have to examine the cheating part of him And there's many ways to do that by the way I mean let one of your friends flirt with him and let us see how good he is maybe it's not a good idea to say but I mean it's it can tell you something someone you didn't know that she's your friend and let us see how trustworthy he is examine the person very well before you reach that point because marrying a cheater is marrying no one you did not have a marriage you just have a person who fool you to agree for something for for a reason he like and the same for women examine the women if she is a cheater then how you can trust a cheater and if she cheated somebody before you she will cheat you too I mean you are you think she will be better with you cheater is a cheater so we need to find someone is a trustworthy someone we can sleep next to his head or her head and I'm not worried about her or him doing something bad to me someone I can trust with my life with my money my, with my future and even with my children's trustworthy trustworthy will take us to more stuff you know we as a human we live in a small family which is part of a big family which is called community so we are as a human we are community people this is why marriage is a very important uh, thing in the community because it brings protection and security as an example if imagine if nobody getting married no more and who is going to pay for your retirement nobody because a child is born today he is the one who will pay for your retirement when you are 65 years old so marriage having a stable family and having a children is important aspect for security for society not only for you as an individual and the most important thing when we speak about a trustworthy uh, what the women should trust in a man and what the man he trust in a woman you see the first thing is people these days are confused even about their gender so you are a man you should act like a man so women she trust on you to be a man not just to be a husband otherwise everybody can do it in the bed so she trust on you 
that you will be the man she can depend on as a man the women she should be the women and this is the problem we face in many places you might enter a house you will find the woman she is acting like a man and the man acting like a woman that's mean the house is flipped upside down and things is going in the wrong direction the man don't have a, a good a strong personality and the woman she is controlling the house as she wish or maybe there is a man who is abusive and he is practicing his manly stupidity in forcing himself in a wrong way because marriage is not about enforcing yourself marriage is about agreement of to do things which mean the wife she agree and when talking about as a Christian to agree to be the wife of this person to obey him for good not for bad so he's abusive he's a criminal he beat her he's violent this this person is not to be obeyed so a man he should respect himself and act like a man as the as the Lord he says in the Bible that the man he will be the husband the same as a Christ he gave himself to the church so he made the women equal to the church which means you love her and even you are willing to sacrifice yourself for her obedience is not about controlling the women it's about you do whatever you can as a woman based on love to make your husband happy but your husband who loves you too he will do whatever he can including sacrificing himself the same as a Christ he sacrificed himself to the church so it's not a duty it is a love duty so you find a person who understand that that he he is going to do things for you because he loves you and she is going to do things for you because she loves him and if we reach the point that there's two people they want to do things to each other based on love then we will have a successful life because I think about you how to make you happy and you think about me how I will make you happy how wonderful that is nobody is selfish and here we will reach the point of being selfish selfish is something very ugly very ugly and this is my advice to whoever listening never ever have a relationship with someone is selfish selfish mean that this person is love himself he will never love you she will never love you it's selfish I mean what you expect and there is many ways to discover if this person is selfish I remember once a person he wanted uh, uh, the lady uh, in her and the, the occasion like uh, the mother day the mother day so she said to her husband I'm going to check send a check to my mother of five hundred dollars for a gift I said that's a wonderful idea and then he wrote a check for his mother of five hundred dollar gift too when she heard the news she went so crazy but he said what I did she said why you send your mother five hundred dollars he said well we sent five hundred dollars to your mother too he said she said but this is my mother <laughs> So it's okay to send five hundred dollars to her mother, but it's not okay to send five hundred dollars for to your mother. That how selfish person he think. It's my mother. It's my joy. I want to enjoy sending five hundred dollars to my mother, so my mother she will praise me because now I'm a good person. I send her. She will say thank you. But you are not allowed to do that. But this is his mother too. No, you cannot do that. So we need always to examine the person, mentality, purpose, how he think, how she think. And if you find any kind of selfishness in this person, right away, cut the line. Immediately. 
stay away from that person a selfish person he will never love you and they don't know what love is sadly this is why they call them selfish you see the the beauty about marriage that it's not based on selfishness which means both of you will sacrifice like me me, me, I, me myself now I'm a single I can sleep when I want I can wake up when I want I can open the door I can fly I can go I don't have kids I don't have a wife I, I can go anywhere but when you get married you have to sacrifice it's not as before no more so if you are a person who is selfish and you cannot sacrifice then why you get married why you want to be married marriage is about not to be selfish but to be the opposite it's about to give and you will take by the way it's not only you will give don't think that's okay I will give I will give and who is going to give me back you will receive this is what the Bible teach you took for free for free you took you, you've been giving for free and for free you give so you will you will know you you will find a person who is willing to give you but not in return of your giving but because that person loves you that will be wonderful and then you because love will reflect love you return back the love by giving back and giving here is not about material not necessarily it can about anything care uh, uh, passionate uh, 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 you know supporting the person when he need you uh, uh, you know being there all the time when this person need you marriage bring a purpose of aid aid help you see you need somebody to help you not somebody to be your enemy if your marriage will lead into enmity that's mean you are a foolish person or you made a foolish decision because look instead of finding a lover you find an you found an enemy so what you did and how you come to that so aid should be one of the purpose of both of you that we will aid each other in this life I will be your helper the trustworthy the one we spoke about trustworthy I will be the man and you will be the women I will be there to help you to aid you as a man and you will be there to help me to aid me as a lady which means I'm not going to request from you to do more than you can do as a woman and you will not ask me to do more than I can do as a man but I will be the man who aid you and you will be the women who aid me then if you go and search in the internet you will find tons of thousands of articles speaking about the purpose of marriage but not none of them really mentioned the trust and we spoke about it but what about a listener a listener you know we need somebody who we enjoy listening to and he enjoying enjoying listening to us imagine you have a person next to you you spend most of the day with him and then this person you cannot handle listening to him for 15 minutes which means you get bored you start yawning and you want to go out or you want to go to the kitchen because you cannot listen no more so the main issue is we suffer from after marriage that we don't find a real listener or somebody we can listen to or he listen to us which means both of you enjoy listening to each other and that would destroy the marriage what happened in the beginning a man will be like oh she looked good wow she is etc she is so beautiful blah 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 whatever the reasons and then after you know after you get him married this 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 face will look normal for you the body you used to it and what is left is listening to so if I cannot listen to you and you cannot listen to me so how we can be together if my words is not interesting if you don't like even to hear my voice if you think I'm silly if you think she is stupid so why you marry her 
you just sign your divorce papers so finding someone we can listen to and someone we enjoy in listening to will be additional joy will make love grow and marriage stay strong so you go out of home your wife she will call you right away I miss you I just left well I miss talking to you I miss listening to you she loved listening to you that means she is really in love and this is a sign really to examine how much you are in love if you cannot listen too much to the person and you find him boring or you find her boring that's mean you don't have love really you know maybe you, you like things about her but not everything especially not her brain and here we go to the brain the brain is a major reason for success or failure in marriage and let me explain it to you in a little words we just spoke about enjoying listening to someone but we are enjoying listening to what it doesn't matter maybe he's silly but I like it maybe he is stupid I like it if you like it good for you but I advise you always to enjoy listening to the brain and I'll explain it to you you see when people they speak especially when they are speaking naturally they speak from their inner which means things which is inside them what they like to do even behind the scenes sometimes because now they are speaking in a natural way if you meet a person like you know you are doing a dating first date everybody is uh, be, being careful asking questions etc it's like you are going to take a a, a, a quiz or a, a, an exam a test a test so this kind of uh, questions and etc it's fake there's nothing real there usually people they fake things I and they and the, when they did they ask themselves or each other very silly questions or oh, what songs you like I like uh, you know uh, what uh, color you like oh I like that color too what perfume you use I mean what kind of a silly conversation this conversation is so you want to listen listen to the brain not to silly questions and answers let us say he like a brown and you don't like brown so what a big deal I mean so but there is things we should listen to you to, to which is finding out what kind of a brain this person he have because a stupid person he will say stupid things and he will not only he will say them he will do stupid things so if you don't listen to the brain you decide to marry from a person who you do not know what is inside his brain and later you will find the surprise that what is inside this brain is not what you thought or what not what you expect so what about we examine this brain and ask deep questions but we don't ask them directly like uh, sit in front of me and I ask you a question and you answer no you know let conversation come normally let the person express himself let him feel comfortable and let the brain come out and then you will know the person somebody asked me about Arab Christians girls you know girls are girls Christians are not Christians women are women there's good there's bad everywhere and Middle Eastern women sadly they are too much into money and material and I don't blame them really because society there is a society which uh, there's no security you know women she have nothing really except what she can get from her husband even inheritance from her family is not equal in the Middle East so women there they have a, they have an issue with security very bad issue so this is why when they choose a man they choose him based on how much he make what kind of job he have what is the last name how big his family how important they are etc and we don't want that to be in part of our life going back to our topic if I can find what is inside the brain 
I can find really what is the person and who is he and even I can predict future decisions he will make security and confidence well Irene she is a Middle Eastern uh, girl and I'm not talking about I'm talking about women in the Middle East <laughs> yeah you see uh, Irene she said uh, like security and confidence well because the society there don't give you the, the ability to be a, like equal person to everybody you are just a female there it's a Middle Eastern society and I'm sure you know you know from your parents how she is I mean she is not given her rights uh, she is always in the shadow um, she have no security and the the only thing you have as a security is marrying a man and then having babies from him and then those babies they grow and they will take care of their mom that's it this is the only security they have because they are there's no social security there's no retirement there's nothing so women in the Middle East they have a different totally different problem and I feel really sorry for them so they have many issues and they don't even they don't have opportunity even to choose the husband like you know here we are talking about you making a decision finding the right man in the Middle East you have to stay home and then the guy he see you in the street he like you he come to your home and he asked for your hand so let us say you became 30 years old and now during the time from the 20 until you are 30 there is five people who ask for your hand okay and you rejected them and then after 30 nobody will come to you because in the Middle East 30 she's old this is how they think a person who is 60 years old in the Middle East and those who are Middle Eastern here they knew he can go and marry someone she is 16 17 so women in the Middle East they have a different totally different issue and a lot of suffering women she have to stay at home and the guy he have to come so which means she don't be really she don't pick up a person to marry she is like a person in a display and people walking by and then one of them maybe he's good maybe he's bad maybe this is not what you wish for but one of them he will say okay I will take this woman so it's a very uh, disappointing system not like you in the West you can find the person you can make your decisions you can you know you can be whatever you want right now if we can find what is inside the brain of the person then we can predict decisions of this person in the future to be right decisions and whatever right decision is is going to be right because a foolish man or a foolish woman most likely their decision will be always stupid you see when you marry a person what what you uh, what the obligation you do you accept to be let me find a picture for this hold on I need to find to find a picture fit for this uh, what I'm going to say next <laughs> all right Uh, I cannot find the picture for it but you will feel like you are trapped trapped but voluntarily maybe this is a good one <laughs> you know you are trapped but voluntarily because when you get married you make a decision that I'm not going and I cannot have the freedom of a single man no more I have to sacrifice a lot of things because now I'm married and this is for both of you so let us say it can be a beautiful trap both of you you agree because that trap will bring you a lot of benefit yes it's a trap where you put yourself inside the cage it's called marriage and you lose a lot of things but you will gain a lot of beautiful things so either you make this trap as a beautiful trap 
or you make it a horrible one if you make it a horrible one then you will do anything to get out of it and this is how you destroy your life so imagine like there's a chicken inside this uh, trap and trying to get out she might break her wings to make herself smaller to go she will lose her feather to get out so always always we have to be careful examine the brain and how you examine the brain ask serious questions but don't ask them directly which means let the person don't notice that you're asking question and how we can do that open a topic what do you think about you know there there's a there's a friend i heard that she cheated her husband hmm? if the person he start giving excuse for cheating that's mean cheating is acceptable by him you have no problem with it ask about anything but not, don't make it as a question make it as a topic open a topic a conversation relax conversation and examine what will come out from his mouth all right what else we need to find out we spoke about trust we spoke about being you as a male or female which means don't act don't be a female but she act like a male which is very sad sometimes because you see the man he marry a female and when the female she start acting like a male I mean he lose his interest do you agree I mean this is why he married you he married you because you are a female not because you are a male so if you start talking and acting and walking like a man well you are just a man for him now he don't see you as a female you made him get away same for the female she married you because you are a man okay so now you as a man you don't do your job as a man I remember there is a lady uh, she go out and throw the garbage at night I was visiting them and she said uh, I will go out and throw the garbage she said that to the husband so I said to him you go through it what do you mean you let your wife go out in the street in the dark he said no no I cannot go out so what do you mean you cannot go out because of me no you don't worry about me go you know I said if you want you can go with her but don't let her alone I mean I said to myself maybe he don't like to leave his wife in the room with me maybe I don't know and later when she you know he told me um, he afraid of dark he's afraid of dark so the moment now she go in the street and she throw garbage so this is the first thing you will lose from a woman point of view that she don't see on you the man the man is afraid to go and throw the garbage so what kind of a man I have so you need to be a man if you think you are not man enough to be a man and man mean everything responsibility and act like a man if your wife she need you you defend her your family you defend them you're not just a puppy in the house and the women she do act the man work so the women should act like a woman a female who take care of herself she is beautiful she is kind she is gentle and she is the one who give let us say the magical touch to the house and the man is the one who do what men do otherwise you are not marrying a woman you are marrying a mother a mother for you you are just bringing a woman to be your mother maybe this guy he just you know he need a mommy you know a mommy but she can sleep with him in the bed so it's very important to marry from someone you can trust and trust including this one too. trust him to be a man not just look like a man there's men they don't care really if somebody he flirt with their wife 
they don't care if even you know I mean because maybe he's a coward maybe I don't know but there is many kind of people like this so what do you want from this man you don't really you don't want to be with such a man because simply he's not a man so we need to examine many things and one of them is this person a man to be married from is this woman she will be a woman or she later she will act like a man talk like a man and then we speak about something very bad we see in society I don't know how many of you use dirt, a dirty language when they speak like some people they cannot say two words together without saying the F word imagine you have a house and we have a wife and husband having a conversation on the table when they are eating and every two seconds they speak they say what the F what the F what the F such a conversation is a very clear evidence that you will have a divorce and I'll explain it to you that's mean both of you you have no sort of respect whatsoever for anything even inside your house in the front of your children's you are filthy and you have a bad mouth You know what I mean? Even inside your house. So where you are going to be trustworthy, to speak clean and to be clean and to be a father. If a woman, she cannot speak two words without saying the F word, how you can be a mother? And what you will say to your husband if you have an argument, the F word? People who live under the rule of F word, they have F future. I'm trying just, I'm, I'm using my limited English to explain what I'm trying to say to you. If you are a person who cannot sit in a table without using such a language, even inside your house, you see, all my life, I never say a bad word. I don't. And I will never use it even when I get angry because it doesn't make a better person for me and doesn't convince anyone I mean do you think you know some people they think they are convincing when they say the F word they think that they think he's convincing now because like he's now he have a strong uh, point of a view because he said the F word like if you don't say it like there's something missing in your like uh, I mean you don't convince anyone that's because you're a fool So respect inside the relationship is very important. If the respect is gone, the rest is gone. So you speak to your husband with respect. You don't use a foul language and he don't use a bad language with you too. Never. When you get married, you agree that, you know what, I will accept all the garbage about you and you will accept all the garbage about me without insulting each other. Because all of us, we have our own garbage. I mean, there's nobody is perfect. So when you agree to marry a person, you don't jump to disrespect because he did something bad. You accepted him as he is, the bad and the good. And adding disrespect will do nothing except adding maybe salt to injury. <laughs> Will not do any will will not do any good for you. You are just seeking destruction of your relationship. Respect is very important. You know, uh, my mother. Uh, I never saw her carrying a grocery. Never. You believe it? my dad will not allow her to carry grocery he is the one who will carry it he will not let let her even touch it she arrive even if she take a taxi she arrive and she open the door and my dad he go outside because he loves her not because he have to if she tried to carry the grocery but she knew you know she said don't try don't try this is how he is he will not accept 
he will not accept. And because how much he respect her, she respect him back a lot. So you, things you do in your life can have an impact in your success, in your future. How long, how many years you can stay together. If you don't respect each other, then you will not have a good life and you will, have, you will go nowhere. You can make life beautiful and you can make your life a misery. My mother, she gets sick. My father is the one who cooks for the whole family. Every morning he brings her a cup of coffee to her bed. She drink it, she go and make a breakfast for him. It is love and harmony. She is serving him the breakfast and she is happy and he is serving her the coffee in her bed and he is happy. So if you want to have a life, you can call it a life, then you have to make that life grow. You always, you think about tomorrow as just at the start of the honeymoon, not a honeymoon happened 20 years ago. So if you are married, I advise you, uh, you know, to go back to the days of the honeymoon, what you used to do. I mean, how kind you were. What happened now? What about making coffee to your wife? What about speaking to her in a beautiful way? What about you do the same to your husband? And then life will change. And this is why we said that, you know, marriage is not about you have a duty and I have a duty. It's about a duty of love, which means because I love you, I do things. And because you love me, I do things. And you can refresh your marriage right now as we speak. If you remember the days when you first time met that lady, what you did, how much you excited you were. And uh, try to find out why it is not the same as before. Because you're used to each other. Actually, this should be even better because now you became more united, more close. You know each other very well. You can always refresh your life. And there is many things can bring joy to your life. We spoke about you know, to be you as a man, to be her as a woman, to be trustworthy, to be a listener and to listen to and to enjoy listening to. We talk about the brain and then we have to speak about acceptance. Imagine there is a person who don't accept you or let us say something changed in your life. How many of you think that those things will not change in their life? I'm not sure how many of you believe in that. I assure you that life bring a lot of change. You might get sick. You might get not healthy. You might be in disability. You might lose your job. You might get an accident. You might, you might, you might. And then if you don't have a good partner, that person he will get rid of you as soon as possible. We don't hear, don't accept the change. Like I married you when you are healthy. I married you when you are handsome. I married you when you are good looking. I married you when you are skinny. I married you when you are uh, uh, beautiful. I married you when you are wealthy. And now is this is there's a change. So there is very important issue here that we should find a person who accept the change which mean you married him this is what in the church when you marry is speaking about you accept him as a poor as a rich as a as sick as healthy it doesn't matter acceptance so the most important thing when you make a decision is to find a person who accept any change will happen in your life for good or bad otherwise you are marrying the wrong person. 
because acceptance is not going to be there. The second you change how you look like, okay, all of us we change. You know, if life did not change us, even our behavior can change. Well, there is other things will happen. You will not be good looking no more soon. You will have wrinkles. You will have a gray hair. You start coloring your hair. You start doing maintenance. Uh, you lose your teeth. I mean, oh boy. I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of a change. So if you don't accept your partner for the change he will have, then who is going to accept you tomorrow? Think about it this way. Because you will lose too. You will accept you, you if you don't find that you see, if you are a woman or a man who don't accept your wife or your husband when he changed, and I'm talking about change not for good because he chose to be bad. But a change of a look, he had an accident, he lost an arm, uh, he became disabled, uh, um, you know, something something happened. Life brings a lot of things. So if you are not willing to accept the change, the same will happen to you soon. Because who is the one who will marry you and stay with you when you change? Because you will change, you will get older, you will have wrinkles, you will not be the same. So finding a person who accept you as you are and accept the change later is extremely important otherwise this marriage will come into failure and here we reach into tolerance you see tolerance is very important in a marriage and when I speak about tolerance, I'm speaking about forgiveness let us say you have a husband he was a wonderful man one day he did something wrong without going in details whatever it is so either you forgive him and you try to get like they say out of this problem and you continue with your marriage or you destroy everything you have just for a mistake maybe it's even a bad mistake maybe it's a mistake too big to be forgiven but always you have to think about what is the right thing to do what is better so if you can forgive and if you can make him agree that he was wrong and really he will never do that again then you should and I, I, I think you should stay in your marriage many sometimes they do wrong things because of things happen around them maybe it is you who was the reason one of the reasons for him to do that bad thing you were not taking care of him you were so dry you were so rude you were you were you never know I mean there's many things happening in life so we need to have some tolerance in our marriage or a relationship because all of us we have our mistakes and nobody is perfect so if I judge you for every mistake you do then I will be judged for every mistake I do too. And wherever I go, I will face a failure. So my advice for such a such a topic is take your time, listen carefully for the person you want to marry from. Don't rush. Listen to his brain, not to his words which mean words which come in from natural speaking person, not a person was investigated by questions. Like don't go to him and say, hey, what do you think about divorce? This is not how you can get the answer. Now he's alarmed and now he knew that you are trying to study him maybe. And if he's a bad person, he will play you. He will give you the answer he knew that you, you are looking for. So in order to get the right answer, try to let somebody else ask the question and even maybe not in your present so he's free to talk he's not investigated try to examine the mentality and the quality the thinking the future what this person what his what what is the life purpose for him why you want to get married you know try to find out why he want to get married if he starts so he's saying oh because you are so beautiful etc it means this guy he's just tomorrow he will find someone she is beautiful too and he will leave me you see there's many women they they do uh, they do things just to make uh, uh, to look nice supposedly to attract men to them but if you do a plastic surgery 
for men well this person who like you because you have let us say uh, certain features in your body he will leave you for the same reason <laughs> you know what I mean if a man he like you for your body how your body look like this is the exact same reason he will leave you because tomorrow he will see someone she have nicer body <laughs> do we understand so find a person he loves you not your breast someone he want you not a surgery you did to yourself putting silicone in your lips and your cheek and but you became like a balloon and even became fake find a person who like you as you are actually I find that women who they are not good-looking they have a better successful marriage from the women who they are good-looking because man he did like the women he married her for her face her body etc and this man he will like okay he just he just got a Barbie and sooner or later this Barbie will not be the same always there's a more beautiful Barbie but women who they are not good-looking the man he married her for who she is so he know exactly what he chose and people who they are good-looking sadly they are always proud and because they are so proud they think there's many opportunity waiting for them I will get rid of this man and I will go out of the house and right away a man he will whistle to me and the same for men so most likely women and men who they are good-looking they will have a failure in their life and they will suffer a lot because they are so proud and they think that life is just in the grab of their hand anytime he can find a woman and you know yes you will find the women but she will be a woman for everybody and you will find a man who step will be with 1,000 women before you if this is what you wish you will get what you wish for or what you ask for which means you will get someone he is for everyone not for you and you are just additional number and maybe in, in coming topic we will talk about this like people who date and go around and around and around and that how that how that later will destroy their life because you know if you have many many partners in your life then the husband is just additional number how sad I want to say thank you guys for being here I hope you enjoy the topic don't forget to share the link and invite your friends and like you see we have only 269 people watching live very disappointing people only like uh, you know fighting and debating and etc but you speak about love nobody might listen very sad thank you how do you how define how do you define by love I'm not sure what does that mean leave your question down in the comment please and I will I will uh, I will be happy uh, to speak about a new topic anyone have a, have a topic please leave your question down in the comment section and I will be happy to answer you all right all topics are welcome as long those topics are not stupid and silly as long they are you know for the benefit of all of us um, I will be happy uh, to help thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.